Should call it feast now, feast later. Come on, I'm stuffed. Happy Thanksgiving, happy holidays to all you guys out there. I'm your host that does the most, Will Merrill. And I know it's the holiday season right now. You probably got people all in your house right now eating cranberry sauce, stuffing, turkey, what have you. Or if you're a vegan, you're probably eating cauliflower, boneless wings, cauliflower turkey. Rice peel off, I don't know, whatever. But <laughs> you eat you eating good in the neighborhood. That's what all that counts. So right now, man, we just here celebrating family, unless you're heading out to New Orleans and being a thot. I'm a thot. I'm a thot. But I mean, there's nothing, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with thotting. Cause you know, sometimes you need a little thought in your life. You know, sometimes you need, to, you need to get your little thought on. There's a, there's a thought going on in New Orleans right now. You got Mighty Classic, you got uh, Gramlin gonna be in the building, you got Southern University gonna be in the building, the Battle of the Bands, the Greek Show, the big game, the parties, There's gonna be a whole lot of yeah going on. You you may you may catch your little yeah, you may catch your yeah. Or you may catch a case. Or you may catch gonorrhea. Oh, oh, oh my God, that was first on the beat. It doesn't matter what you're gonna catch, just don't catch them all. You can't catch your body a case and kind of real all at the same time. Could that be an awkward uh, cleanup at the Wardorf Hotel or the W or the Holiday Inn? You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just gonna be honest with you. If I try to get me a room right now, man, I'm staying in Gretna. That's how it's going down. I'm be paying four hundred dollars for a room in Gretna, and you know, you know how long it'll take for me to take a chick from Bourbon Street to Gretna? She'll be sober by the time we get there and be like, uh, nah, I'm good, love. Take it back home. I'm like, nah, we just got to spend the night. We, we roommates now. You catch one bed, I catch the other. Look, look, look mm -mm. I'm not driving back. <laughs> we on our own. But anyway, we about to get to this first sketch. I'm about to give you another plate of food. We be right back. Laugh now, laugh later. Again, thank you so much for coming out for another evening uh, here. But without further ado, I'm gonna bring out our guest speaker. He is the uh, creator and writer of The Fat Albert Show and also the star of the hit TV show, The Cosby Show. Without further ado, y'all give it up for the very special Mr. Bill Cosby. Thank you, thank you, thank you. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for having me out. And as a token of my esteem, I bought some already prepared cold beverages for the ladies. I see you have them. That's nice. That's lovely. It's so lovely. Bill, this is going to be too easy. Anyway, I'd like to talk to you all about something that's very serious and very sensitive. And that's partying and not getting caught out there with your pants down and your pudding pop blowing in the wind. Because let's face it, when it comes to partying these days, there's all types of druggies out there, all types of uppers and downers and mollies and roofies and they're slipping the lean and they're taking the visine with the chloroform and all that types of stuff. Now, ladies, I know when you're out there shaking it and having a good time and doing your thing, the you know, temptation is so real that you might leave your drink unattended. Now, if you are to do this, when you come back and find your drink, you should definitely drink it. And when you drink it, you might want to look at your right hand and if it starts to feel droopy and... Mr. Cosby. Yes, you, young lady with the caramel um, skin. 
I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to drink it if you drink after it's been unattended. Who in the hell told you that? It's wrong! It's not only wrong, it's absurd and ridiculous. Of course you're supposed to drink it, and I'll tell you why. Listen, fellas, when you're out there, it's easy to get caught by temptation and all the ladies are dancing and you see their little boobies jelling and you're jiggling like some jello jigglers and they're out there and you just want to pop one of them out. You just want to pop one of them out because your fat Albert just rose out to attention and said, hey, hey, hey. So you want to take one of their little boobies and pop it in your mouth. You just want to pop it like this and you just want to go. What I was trying to say was be mindful of their cups. I mean your cup size, meaning be mindful of how much you've had to drink. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now time for the fun stuff. Time for some role play, and I'm gonna need two volunteers, two ladies, just you two young ladies. Come up, come up, and well, I guess you two, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you two. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The lovely ladies, just so lovely and pure. And oh, your skin is just such a lovely texture, and yours is just. Oh, sir, sir, I'm gonna be giving out autographs after my speech, so you can just go ahead and go. Yeah. You asked me to come up here. Did I? Oh, I'm sorry. I must have been sipping on what they're drinking. I'm just kidding, ladies. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. God likes to kid. Anyway, so say you two lovely ladies are at a party and you're dancing and your booties are shaking and you're getting real nice and lit. And then some old man comes up and offers you a drink. What do you do? Uh, say no, thank, thank you. you. That's wrong, wrong, and wrong. You always take the drink. Always. You take the drink and you sniff the drink. Go ahead, sniff the drink. Sniff it! Sniff it. Yes, yes, you sniff it. And you sniff it, and you start feeling woozy. Next thing you know, the old man, he pulls out some goodies. Oh, yes, she's getting into it. She's really woozy. Take her off to my room. I'll be back there later. Yes, yes, yes. All right, young lady, here's another scenario for you. You're still in the club partying and having a good time, and a creepy old man, he spots you. And what he's going to try to do to you is distract you from your drink with a distraction. Any old diversion, something like, Hey, Juice, I am a man, OJ. And while you're looking over there, a sexual predator has just drugged you. So the next time you take a sip of your drink, you're going to find yourself in your car with your boobies hanging out and your panties all slipped to the side. And what you want to do in that situation is just wait for help. Uh -uh, uh -uh. What, what, what? I'm not falling for this food. You're not about to put me to sleep. I'm out. Wait, 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 wait. I have one you more lesson make to make sure you go to jail and somebody's going to play with your pudding pop. I ain't got time for this. No, you won't. Shh, shh, shh. Young lady, young lady, I'm about to take you to a different world than where you come from. Yeah. Yeah, boo, I told you I got you. Now give it 10 minutes and it should work just fine. Now who's your ride or die girl? That's right, boo. All right, now. Talk to you later, sweetie. Bye. Yo, what's happening, Michelle? You want to get something to eat? Uh-uh-uh. Don't be coming up in here acting all thirsty trying to ask me out. My manager up in here. I got a manager. Look, I don't care about your manager. I just want to know if you want to go get some sushi from the sushi Well, the answer there. is no. I got a manager. He treats me good. I get two 15-minute breaks. And I don't think he'd appreciate you being all up in here act acting all thirsty trying to ask me out. So maybe you should go before he finds you in here talking to me and writes you up. I don't care about you or your manager or writing me up. See what happens. Thank you for calling Shocks Communications. Can I have your name and account number? Yeah, this is uh, Mr. Moore and I'm account uh, 227. Oh, hey, Mr. Moore, how you doing today with your valued self? 
Uh, hi, Jamie. I know this, uh, I don't really know how to say this, but um, I'm just gonna let it out. Uh, I'm canceling you guys. Your service sucks. Wait, you doing what? I had it up the hill with it. I I'm trying to watch TV right now. And so you gonna give up everything that we have. What about the three years I dedicated to making you happy? Listen, Jamie, I really appreciate everything you've done for me, but lately, you've been dropping channels, uh, the service sucks, the internet is slow, and, and my calls. So that's what you do, huh? Instead of being a real man and coming to me and telling me what the problem is, you're just gonna run off with the first little side dish you can find. Well, you know what? You run off with your side dish. I hope you get a virus. Well, it looks like I'm making the right decision, huh? I'll drop the box off to you. Wait, Mr. Moore, please. Mr. Moore, tell me what you want. I'll give you what you want. You want the freaky channels, Mr. Moore? I'll give you the freaky. Normally, I don't. Normally, I don't give people the freaky channels, but for you, baby, Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Mr. Moore. Thank you for calling Shocks Communications. Can I have your name and account number? Oh, you want to start a new service? Well, I just got out of a long-term account, and I don't think I'm ready to get into a new account right now. But, if you want to bootleg our service, I can show you how to hook up the wires. Yeah, boo! See, this is what I'm talking about right here. You always talking about bootlegging channels. I'm on giving a call. Free. Can I, you look, stop? I got look. a manager! Artifice Salon has shampoo and styles for only $25 and relaxers for only $30. Don't forget, if you send three, your next style is free. And something about the word free motivates me. Call 225-248-1421 to schedule your next appointment at Hair Artifice Salon, home of the five-star look for less. That's Hair Artifice Salon at 225-248-1421. Man, I know my dog won't play me like that. I know my... <laughs> what, you can't knock on the door or something? Watch something. There, come on, man. Open the door, dog. All right, all right. I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, Jay. What y'all doing here, man? I'm about to get to the bottom of this. I'm real talk. I'm real aggravated. What? Man, look. Keep it G with a G, man. Did they just try to sleep with you? Yeah, they tried to sleep with me. What happened? Yeah, they tried to sleep with you. What happened? Yeah, they I knew this was gonna come up. All right, yeah, she did, but I told her no. You know, I would never try to ruin our friendship like that. I, I told you. Do that. I told you. Look, shut up. So she tried to sleep with you, and you wasn't gonna say nothing. Yeah, I told her. Tell the truth, girl. You Darryl. still talking? So you told her to be quiet about it? <sighs> yeah, I told her not to say anything. You see? Man, stop talking. I thought we was boys, bro. I thought, why I gotta confront you with this, man? I know, I know, and I'm sorry. Look, you know I would never do anything to jeopardize our friendship or ruin your trust. You're like a brother to me, Jay. And I, you know I wouldn't do you like that. Wait, why not? That's what I want to know. Why not? What the hell you mean, why not? Because you, wouldn't know, you don't want to rip my girl? Why not? Why you wouldn't smash my girl? Was she beneath you or something? No. Hold up. Bro, are you trying to tell me you mad because I didn't smash your old lady? Yes, I'm mad you didn't smash my old lady. What? You you should want to rip my old lady. I mean, you think I don't deserve to deal something? Wait a minute. Hold up. Dog, are you listening to yourself? Your girl just told you she tried to sleep with your best friend behind your back. Wait, behind my back? It was my idea. I told you he think he better than you. What? Wait, dog. Just because my girl ain't go to college and she a cashier, a high neighbor, and a bartender at Playboys, what, you think she below you or something? No. Dog, listen to me. I didn't smash your girl because she's your girl. I mean, what type of friend would I be if I smashed your girl? A lawyer one? You what? tell him, boo. He ain't lawyer. What? Are you serious right now? Dead serious, man. I'm saying like what? I'm, I'm too fat, I'm too skinny, I'm too bright, uh, my booty too small. I mean, what is it? Are you just scared to come get this jelly? No, Deja, I'd hit it. I told you I'd hit it, but I wouldn't. Well, just rip it then. Dog, why do you want me to smash your girl so because bad? Because that's what we do, man, and I just smash your girls. What? You smash my exes? Some of them. Keisha, Darnisha, Shaquita, Maya, Kathy. Dog, how could you? 
that's what we boys, man. That's what we do, man. We share everything. Remember we had didn't have enough money to get the Jabot outfit? And yeah. you bought the jacket and I bought the pants? Yeah. That's something like that. No, this is nothing like that. Nothing at all like that. Dude. Better idea. Remember we went to the classic and we had them two freaks? Uh-huh. The one that had one condom and I let you go first? Yeah. Yeah. But that's what this like, man. I insist. Yo, I'm sorry. Are you gonna get this little yeah or what? Look, I'm sorry. That ain't me. I can't do it. I can't do it. Man, look, if you don't rip my girl, we ain't friends no more. And I'm not the best man in your way. What? So it's like that? Definitely like that. What you looking at? Look at this. What you gonna do? I'm all right, all right, all right. Damn it. Fine. I'll rip your girl. So you gonna rip her? Yes. I'll rip your girl. <laughs> So glad, bro. I said, right, I bought my tuck for your wedding. Check this out. I'm going to run some errands. Well, they're not really errands. I'm going to rip my cousin's wife. So y'all got about two hours. Baby, take it easy on them. Okay. Don't use everything out the party bag, though. I gotcha. Have fun, big dog. Wrap it up. No, this is crap, Jay. So how you want to do this, Deja? You want to watch a movie or... Boy, come up here and get this cheetah. Cheetah? That's a big cat, ain't it? <laughs> I know. <laughs> ah. Hey, Cuz, you ready? Yeah. Oh. What's up, man? What's going on, bro? You <laughs> got a good grade of hair right there, my boy. Mm -hmm. nice. Appreciate it. Nice. All right, let me go in and get you some, bro. It's my bad, bro. That's a nice. Well, you work out, huh? Mm hmm. Yeah, a little. Yeah? What gym? What, what gym you go to? Yeah, uh, Planet Fitness over there Planet on the floor. Yeah, yeah, Planet Fitness. You go. All right, where we going? We going to get you the Martin Lawrence off of Bad Boys? Yeah, yeah, that's No, no, no. How about that LeBron? You know, so I push your hairline all the way back and you just wear a headband. Okay. Yeah, well. Which one? Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence, okay. I think. That's, yeah, that's a nice one. Come here and get you. You got a nice, nice, smooth, supple skin. Uh-huh. You know, what kind of products do you use? It's, you know, regular lotion. Regular lotion? Not too much. Uh-huh. 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 Are we doing this right now? Oh, I'll just get my hookah down. Okay. I'm sorry, I started thinking about other stuff. It's 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 gonna be a good cut, just just trust me. Uh-huh. Just trust me. With all your heart. Look me in the eyes and trust. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's what it's all about. Us black people staying together, trusting each other. Yeah. Working together. Alright man, so you know what you do for a living, man? I do construction. Do construction. Mm -hmm. I can tell by your shoulders you gotta be uh -huh. Gotta be pretty strong. I know you've been going to the gym and all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come, come on, look. I mean, I'm I, um, on one side. You know what I'm saying? When I ain't doing doing cutting hair, you know what I'm saying? I don't tell nobody. Well, I'm a, I'm a dancer. You know? Oh, so really? Do some of that. You know? Yeah, yeah. That that just sound cool. Yeah, man, I, you know, got to make that money, though. Yeah. Got to make that money, too. Whatever. Oh, whatever. Yeah, got to make that money. Got it. Yeah, man, we just trying, you know, I'm just trying to get you in, trying to get you out, you know uh -huh. what I'm saying? You know how, you know, you know that song, Tupac, you saying, in and not just like a robbery. Yeah, 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 I know. In and not just like a robbery. Yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You cool people, though, man. Mm -hmm. I kind of like you, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Good fellow. Good fellow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what? <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to think about some other stuff, I have. Get the back, cuz. I always uh -huh. gotta get the back. What kind of what kind of cologne is that you have on? That's bar number nine. No, nine. It smells like some some of them oils, you know what I'm saying? Like them herbal essences, like when them women used to be in the shower. Uh-huh. And it used to be like dripping in their hair. Yeah. It's delicious, man. I think it's amazing. Okay, appreciate it. No problem.
I just can't get over your how good your hair is. Then your 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 curl pattern from from your your growth spot is just like you got Indian in you. Yeah, is there Indian yeah. in you? Yeah, there's Indian from in my all the way down that, to your family. Beard, yeah, that's, that's amazing. I can't grow that, so I'm just I'm yeah. just wild out. Oh my. Yeah, I appreciate right, that. Well, no problem, man. I'm just saying, like, what kind of shampoo do you use? Just Regular head it's, and shoulders, nothing. Head and shoulders? Yeah. I don't believe that. You gotta be using like juices and berries. Have to. No, look you at do. this. No, 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 look, no, look, no, look, no. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Extra supplements, no. Curly none of that. Just keep going, man. Mm -hmm. Going, man. Mm -hmm. Going, man. Going. It's mm -hmm. just mind blowing. You know, mm -hmm. hair is hair is my thing. It's just yeah. like an art to me. Your head yeah. is just a natural uh, sculpture. Okay. I just can't get over how soft your skin is, mm -hmm. bro. What you use, bubble baths or something? No, just showers, dude. Just regular showers. Just regular showers. Say something. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no. no. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what kind of shop you thought this was. I'm not one of them fun boy barbers. What? You can get out of here with Are that. Are you serious? Go ahead, Bobby, and bust your head. I'm smashing all these no, women in I'm here. Gone. You think I'm, I'm touching on me like that? What's wrong with you, man? Wrong shot, bro. It's the wrong shot. Are black people cursed? Can God hear my prayer? What is the meaning of life? Attention all parents, Prestige Dance Academy is offering cheer and dance classes for children ages 3 and up. Register online at www.prestigedancevr.com or call 225-443-0770. Prestige Dance Academy, where everyone is treated like royalty. Located inside Upstate Theater at Cortana Mall, 9701 Cortana Place, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Come on, bro. Open up, man. Open up. Hey, what you, what's up, man? What's up? I did it. I finally left my wife, bro. I, I'm done with her. And you come to my house this late at night to tell me that? I had to, bro. You're the only place I had to go. So, what's next, man? Well, no. Let me tell you what happened. What happened? All right. It all started like this. Nothing, I was just checking the, the weather. <laughs> you know, gotta get bright early for work.
Oh, are you serious? What What are you doing in there? You got some laundry? <laughs> no, I don't have. I'm in the middle of. Jeez, let me just. Uh, you sure? I'm no. fine. I'm yeah. Could you Could you close that that? Jeez. So now you see why I had to leave her, bro. I had to, man. Look, I came here because I didn't have nowhere else to go. All right, man. Uh, so what's next? Bro, I didn't need to come in for like five minutes, bro. That's all I need is five minutes. Five minutes? Five minutes for what? Well, you not listening to the entire story, bro? All I need is your Wi-Fi 5, five, bro. That's it, man. Look, I got my phone right here, man. All I need is Wi-Fi 5, five, bro. That's it. Man, you are sick. What? You need my Wi-Fi. My kids need that Wi-Fi. I'm not giving you the password or access. Man, man, get your little nasty self from off my doorstep, man. Bro. Coming in my house this late at night so you can rub one out. Boy, you got me bent. Man. Bye-bye. No. Fuck. Just five minutes, bro. That's all I need, man. Man, get, get on, man. Man, what you talking? Hey, bro. Bro. Ugh. Well, y'all, another episode, Laugh Now, Laugh Later, in the books. Thank y'all again so much. We're in season seven, and we could not have gotten here without you all. And I say this each and every episode because I mean it. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Mad Game e and Mad Game Productions, whole lot of game game. Whole lot of, whole lot of game. Anyway, thank y'all so much. And now normally what I say with the sheets and the streets and the side chicks, but it is Thanksgiving. So... Have a happy Thanksgiving with your side family. I'm out here. Good night.